Whitehaven tackling the popular, uh, sorry, the tackling the railway end in this first half here as Mason with the kickoff. BBC Radio Cumbria Sport Online, and that isn't collected by Dale Morton, and that we've spoke so often in the last few seasons about Whitehaven having kickoff issues, Batley having issues there, David Seeds. But the two combine to fetch him down, and the Bulldogs are 30 metres out now. It's going to come into the hands of Ben White. Ben White's going to go across field, trying to put some pressure on Oscar Doran, and Doran's going to fumble that ball. And he's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a knock on in favour of uh, the Bulldogs here so it's going to be a scrum down head and feed and that's a battle in the early going Dan Manning going up against uh, Oscar Doran probably one you wouldn't expect out there but they've been able to force the error of the Bulldogs from from the oncoming back players Leak goes left uh, right from the uh, base of the scrum and it could be in in this first corner straight away from Dale Morton Morton is in on that right hand side a very similar play well a shift to the right anyways of how Sheffield got over for their try from the base of the scrum Sheffield put the ball back inside on this occasion Batley were happy to find Morton in the corner and it's only his second try of the season for Dale Morton in his ninth appearance but he's crossing that right hand side corner just short of 10 minutes gone it's Haven nil Bulldogs for the touchline 20 metres out on the strip but plenty of angle involved for Butterworth he comes at it right footed just gets a little bit of a curve back in and it's hit the bottom or well, the top of the post padding on the far left post so it's gone underneath and it is Haven nil Batley 4 or it remains Haven nil Batley 4 here on BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online if you they complete that tackle Lucas Castle involved as well going to come right now 10 metres out are the Bulldogs looking for back to back tries few pairs of hands right to left into the hands of Butterworth Butterworth then finds Elliot Kia Kia's going to be in over in that right hand side corner and it is back to back tries for the Bulldogs and Whitehaven find themselves 8 points down here in the early stages we're still short of 14 minutes gone from BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online and it is now Haven nil, Batley 8 plus from elsewhere around the championship in just a moment we'll just wait and see what Butterworth does with this it's going to come at it right footed once again seems to have got a better connection with that but the wind seems to pick it up there as well and goes nowhere near and not nowhere near close as it was compared to the first one so not from two is Butterworth and it remains Haven nil Batley 8 King Newton Guy Graham gets involved to help complete the tackle 38 out now from the Whitehaven line Gledhill then takes it to the line and gets inside to Brandon Moore there's a gap there for Moore and he's inside then to Alistair League the Cumbrians combine at the end and the ball goes down at the Kells end played on here both for Cumbria back in October they've combined this afternoon to get the Bulldogs third try of the afternoon just 22 minutes in it's Haven nil, Batley 12 and unless the afternoon John Tiberg would be really disappointed he said spoke him earlier this week and he said I need I want a reaction he's just not getting it out there at the moment Robbie Butterworth does knocks over his first of the afternoon it is Whitehaven nil. Batley Bulldogs 14 Batley it is the five and last just to the left hand side of the post a metre out Jamie Doran's going to go left Jay Carter over the top Johnny Romeo in that left hand side corner realises he's got to stay in touch passes called forward to Romeo otherwise he was in for his second try of the season but the pass from Carter to Romeo reeled forward and the Batley's defence survives BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online remains 14-0 to the visitors like, like we just said before there it's, it's simple basics of rugby league you've got to get your basics right and once you get your basics right then you know everything falls into place but uh, Whiteham's really got to concentrate on the simple things looking to uh, well, it's a Whitehaven scrum first of all and Lachlan Hannigan's put the kick in can Jake Mason get there Mason should Mason should get there it's try for Whitehaven well my apologies first of all I thought it was a Bulldogs uh, scrum head and feed so did David Seeds but it's a play there from Whitehaven probably doesn't even come from the training field let's be completely honest ball come from the base of the scrum into the hands of Lachlan Hannigan Hannigan put the kick in there was no full back there Jake Mason used his speed we've seen it in a Halifax shirt last season and now he's now got his fifth try of the afternoon in just his sixth Whitehaven appearance uh, you know, uh, Jordan, uh, Jamie Doran put it in a uh, similar kick in for, for Jake Mason so you know, I, I, I imagine sort of Jake saying here uh, you know, I'm, I'm a quick lad here, so you know, I'll, I'll beat anybody one on one, so uh, especially from a standing start. So, certainly in Petty Singleton, just to the left hand side of the post, two, three metres out, attacking the railway end. Comes now into Lanza Woods, then White. White takes it to the line, then finds Butterworth. Butterworth then finds Dale Mord in this right hand side corner. And Joby Romeo found Watton there. Was inside there of Dale, um, Dale Morton. And it's Morton's second of the afternoon. It's his third of the season. And the way White Evan had been playing. It's now a 12-point ball game and a face ball from the fullback. 
uh, he's probably thinking about possibility of a, a, an interception there so he's maybe thought of an interception and then suddenly realised it went right right past him but no you've, you've, you can't defend yeah. pardon the pun you can't defend that the last white even have one more tackle to survive Ollie Burton in there the dummy half could go for a drop goal should go for a drop goal Josh Woods he's going to knock over the one pointer and it's now Whitehaven 6 Batley 19 66 and a half minutes gone 13 and a half to go BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online sort of a set two between Keir and Newton as Ollie Burton looks to go from dummy half goes round one goes round two gets round three eventually stopped by Ross Ainley and uh, Joey Romeo it's going to be Gledhill of all people in a dummy half this is going to go left now into the hands of Josh Woods Woods then out the back then to Butterworth Buchanan, Buchanan shaves a dummy, game, set and match. Batley are going to pick up their first two points of the season here in West Cumbria. BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online, Haven 6, Batley 23. Yeah. Be up to confirm in just a minute, but either way, it's going to come on it now. Attack the extras on there, that was a fantastic kick to be fair. If it's Butterworth, he's changed some form. If, I don't think it is. I think it might be. I think it is Ben White. I might. I'll, I'll find out in just a second when I can see his name on his back. Meter, two meters short here. Left hand side of the post. Newton in there at dummy half. Going to go right into the hands of Brett Bailey. Brett Bailey's gone over there on that left hand side. Has the Saints reserve player of the year. He's got over for his first professional try, and he'll be happy. He's the young man. Whitehaven won't be happy, but it is Whitehaven 10. Batley Bulldogs 25. Yeah. Season against Swinton. And obviously, as we mentioned as well, he's the reserves player of the year at Saints last season. But getting his first taste of professional rugby here this afternoon. And it is Jake Carter that uh, knocks over the extras. We make it 40 seconds to go here at the recreation ground. So the clock 